So with the Premier League, they dropped a statement on Monday morning. There's 115 breaches. They basically break down into three things. Uh, it, the main one is financial irregularities. Mm -hmm. Um, there's stuff in there about how they paid Roberto Mancini. There's stuff in there about how they paid some of their players for a period relating to image rights and bonuses. There's stuff about not complying with UEFA's financial fair play regulations and the Premier League's own sustainability regulations. The other part of it is honesty, because one of the rules that's referred to a lot is you need to act in the utmost good faith to the other clubs and the league when you submit your papers. Okay. And they say City didn't do that. And then the last bit, there's about 35 charges at the end from 2018 to the present day for not cooperating with this investigation. Because this Premier League investigation mm -hmm. has been going on for four years. And the Premier League say that City haven't cooperated throughout that time. In City's statement, of course, they said they have done. And, you know, this is all now going to be disputed behind closed doors over the next period of months and years. Well, you just mentioned that statement. Let's have a look at it right now, because it was released this week by City and it says they were surprised by the charges that have been brought, given the extensive engagement and vast amount of detailed material the Premier League has been provided with. And City also welcomed the review by an independent commission and said they look forward to the matter being resolved once and for all, Sam. Yeah, well, that's kind of, I suppose that's kind of what Guardiola was talking about in terms of once and for all. But it is interesting, isn't it? Because everybody here, is, whether, whatever our role is in this, yeah. me as a journalist covering it, you guys as football people seeing the outcome, football fans at home, other clubs, we've seen this with Cass. They were banned from the Champions League. Everybody thought, OK, well, they've done terrible things. They're banned from the Champions League. Everybody was very angry about it. They deserve this. And then he went and had it overturned. It's almost as if that doesn't matter. Because now the instinct when these charges have been made is they've done it. And as Guardiola said, they've not had the opportunity to defend themselves mm -hmm. because everybody's kind of made their minds up. So, yeah, the situation is they've been through this. They fought it already. If they do fight it again and win, as Guardiola said, who's going who's gonna to repair that damage that's been done over the last week yeah. of everybody kind of assuming they've... They've done it already. And you saw yeah. from the press conference just that fighting talk yeah, from him. And it's exactly. a big week because they go and play Arsenal, Dion. That's the, yeah. That, that's the area particularly where I'm... There's a defiance, isn't there? Yeah. There's a common goal. The world's against mm. us. The Premier League's against us. They've all written in against us back in, with the UEFA issue they had. Uh, and that helps to galvanise them even further to go after and try and win it again. That's a, a bit of a concern for me as an Arsenal man sitting in watching. If, if they are found guilty, then, of course, if I was sort of an adversary back in the day against them, a competitor against City, I'd be thinking, well, we may have, we've missed out on opportunities because, you know, they, they, it's by financial doping effect if, if they're proved to be mm. guilty in this. So that's something that doesn't sit well. So I don't know how far we're going to go back. I don't know what seasons we're going to include. Um, but it is a scandal well, if they that's don't... That's a good point, because do you their, think the timing name. of this with the Premier League announcing it all now as well, when you think about, what, Juventus, kind of similar, and they got, what, deducted how many 15 points? points? 15 points. Mm. Yeah, well, in, ter in terms of the timing, and we've talked about the kind of politics behind it, in terms of... You know, I'm here to kind of say how City have reacted this week. And yeah. Obviously, publicly, and maybe in football, you've all, you've all been in these situations where publicly a club or a person will put out a statement and yeah. say, look, everything's fine, we're going to do this and we're going to do that. But behind the scenes, there's a lot more panic maybe. Yeah. But at City, I, I can assure you, as it's obvious now really the way Guardiola's talking, but I can assure you that behind the scenes at City, what they're saying publicly is the same as privately. And now the situation we're in is, does this, like, how does this carry forward and how, how do they fight this and, and, and where does it go? Yeah. Because now Guardiola's had his say it's kind of spiked up again. But now beyond this, one of the things Guardiola was talking about yesterday was this is not going to happen quickly. And Martin, you mentioned the, the nine teams in the past um, and Guardiola's never forgot that. So when they went to Court of Arbitration for Sport, just after the ban, mm -hmm. there were nine Premier League teams and they were Wolves, Burnley, uh, Tottenham, Newcastle, Leicester and then Arsenal, Chelsea, Manchester United and Liverpool. They wrote to say, don't let City delay this mm -hmm. and let them play in the Champions League. That annoyed City because they didn't want to delay it. They wanted to get on with it as soon as possible and clear their name. Which they and did. And, and, and which they mm -hmm. did. And Guardiola's never forgotten that. So it was only last week okay. when Guardiola mentioned those nine. He actually said last week eight or nine teams, <laughs> like he'd forgotten a bit. But this week, he obviously hadn't forgotten. Yes. He, and he read those names out one by one. But what he said was, there's, there was nine teams before 
now it's 19. So that's part of the politics of it. Okay. And then you've got this whole white paper situation yeah. where inside City are thinking, is this a way to show the government that the Premier League don't need external governance, that yeah. they can handle their own affairs? Like you say, maybe there's the Juventus element, maybe this is the Premier League saying, Newcastle, if you want to go down this route, will be strong as well. There's, there's rumours of Qatari interest in Manchester United. Maybe this is a stance from the Premier League to say, look, we don't, mm. we don't need any governance. Yeah. But again, these, this is all stuff that's going to come I out eventually. I suppose we're going to find out more over the next coming weeks.